Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Reconciling accounts allows you to match the transactions on your monthly bank statement with the transactions you entered into QuickBooks Online Plus. Only accounts that would be listed on a balance sheet will be found as choices when you try to reconcile. That means that only balance sheet accounts will be an option to reconcile. For example, your checking account. From the gear, click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading to be taken to the Reconcile page. Here you will select the account you want to reconcile from the Account drop-down list. Click the Reconcile Now button after you have selected your account to open the Start Reconciling pop-up window. The Start Reconciling window offers the same account drop-down list, so you can change the account if you want or need to. In the Enter the following from your statement section, enter a statement ending date that matches the ending date shown within your bank statement. The beginning balance for the account will be shown to the right. In the Ending Balance field, enter the ending balance from the bank statement for the account. In the Enter Service Charges and Interest Earned, if any, section, enter any service charges or interest earned on the account into the Service Charge or Interest Earned fields, respectively. Then enter the date that the amount was applied to the account from the adjacent drop-down to the right. If entering bank charges, select the expense account used to track these charges from the adjacent account drop-down. If entering interest earned, select the income account used to track interest income from the adjacent account drop-down. Click OK to start the reconciling process, or note that you can click Cancel to close the window and open the Reconcile page. The name of the account that you are reconciling will then be shown in the title of the Reconcile page that appears. There is a Hide Transactions After the Statement's End Date checkbox on the right-hand side of the page. It is a good idea to leave this checked as it will hide any transactions that have occurred after the end date of your bank statement. This is helpful to filter the list if you have many transactions. On the left-hand side of the page will be the checks and payments list that contains all of the outgoing money from the account. The right-hand side of the page will display the deposits and other credits list. This list will contain all of the money going into the account. These are the lists of items that you will be matching to your bank statement. Go line by line through your bank statement and check all of the items that match. At the bottom of the page on the left-hand side is an Edit Information from Statement link. Clicking this link will allow you to adjust the statement ending date, ending balance, or any of the service charge or interest earned information. Also note in the area with the edit link you will also see information showing the beginning balance, the number of items and total amounts you selected from the checks and payments and deposits and other credits list, the statement ending balance, and the cleared balance. The statement ending balance and cleared balance should match when you have completed your reconciliation. The last line is a difference line that should display a zero balance after you have finished marking the cleared transactions in the account. Any service charges or interest earned you entered will be displayed to the left within this section as well. There are three buttons on the bottom right hand side of the page. When you have successfully reconciled the account and everything is balanced, click Finish Now to save the work and close the page. To continue working later, or to leave to investigate a discrepancy, click the Finish Later button to save your work and close the page. You can return to finish the reconciliation later by selecting the Reconcile link from the gear icon again. Clicking the Cancel button will cancel your changes and close the page. After completing your first reconciliation, a reconciliation report for the currently selected account will be displayed in the Reconciliation History and Reports list on the Reconcile page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.